<laughs> Let's trade places. Right. Oh, challenge. Okay. Everybody chooses a brand, so you choice out loud to the rest of the players before clicking. A brand? Any brand? O okay. Uh, I guess on, on 3 2 1. <laughs> Uh, three, two, one. McDonald's. Race. Wait, what? I, I said McDonald's. What? What did Tristan say? I said Razor. Razor. Nike. Oh. Nike. Nike. And Sam. Sam's race. Oh, Sam's. <laughs> you know, you gotta choose something else. You gotta choose something else. Because I think you can't have the same answer. What? You can't have. You can't have the same answer. Wait, you said Razor, right? No, I said Sam's race. Oh. Okay. Play order to decide on how intriguing it will be a perfect fit to, to produce their own TV show. <laughs> hmm. Set it to. Oh, what would be a good TV it? show on a brand? Okay, so we got Nike, McDonald's, Razor, and what was that, Sam? Sainsbury's. It's like a supermarket chain in the UK. Oh, I don't yeah, know. Yeah, no. I think. I think I Razor think would be, be. No, I think I'd be more interesting with Sainsbury's. <laughs> <laughs> but that's a, that's a supermarket. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay. TV show is the supermarket. <laughs> All right. If they produce a TV show, not if the TV yeah, show. Yeah, they produce about a TV. That. No, not okay. a TV show about them. Yeah. Okay. I, I can. I can see that. <laughs> but it's it's just like but it's kind of like if you know what their mentality is, what could they what could they produce? I've no fucking clue. That's yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, okay, well, we, we can sell for Sam being number one. Okay, so... Wait, Sam is brain, right? Brain, yeah. yeah. Okay, so... Brain. Okay, McDonald's, Razor, and Nike. McDonald's, I feel like, will <laughs> probably make like a, food, like a food channel, I don't know. Yeah, McDonald's, Wait, I sort of see happening, so it's not Didn't that. they already make like yeah. a very short TV show? Like, yeah, with their, um, like, with their characters, like, you know, the Hamburglar and, like... Yeah, yeah, I, I think that stuff. actually did happen. Oh, with their old mascots. Like, I, would, I would like a show about the mascots to see what Ronald McDonald would do to scare children. <laughs> Razor, I can imagine making something very lame, though. Like, uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but Nike is kind of... They, they have these ads that are, like, 10-minute videos. That is super boring to watch. Yeah, that's the thing. I think I think it'd be more interested in, in Razor than uh than Nike. Yeah, I agree. I mean, I mean Nike can just do something sports related. Yeah, like, Nike has a bunch yeah. of like, really really um high profile athletes that it's got like sponsorships for. That's so there's that. If you want to see like fucking uh, LeBron chug milk or something. <laughs> That's a good point. That's a good point. Or you could just yeah, watch Tiger Woods beat up someone. Oh, <laughs> that, yeah. <laughs> a, a, a fucking MMA match between Tiger Woods and <laughs> someone else. All right, all right. Let's go for, for Nike then. <laughs> okay, for Nike. Let's go for Nike. I don't know why I'm going against myself. Why I'm just <laughs> oh, Okay, geez. McDonald's or Razor. Well, we we be able to see how how boring the Razor would be. Well, the, I think the question is, what would be more boring, McDonald's or Razor? The, I, I think don't know, have, have Gordon yeah. Ramsay go to McDonald's and just critique the hell of them. <laughs> <laughs> he, he pretty sure does I like McDonald's has the advantage in that they have the like cartoon character IP. I guess they can take advantage of. Yeah, that's they true. Go yeah. That way. yeah. All right, we'll go with. Uh, I'll be last. Okay. Yeah. I'm cool with that. Oh, that was all in the morning. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, okay. Okay, so yeah. Oh, so then it shoots where this, this, sit? Is, this is the tables. Yeah, the, the, depending on where you sit, uh, you know, depends what interaction you might have. Oh, so the cat lady um is a shop. So if have... let them yeah. find out. Let them find out. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, who the fuck did I hang out with earlier? Oh, the uh, ones in the bottom left. Yeah. yeah. Let's go with them. You wanna go with them? Okay. Yeah. You approach Scott and Polly's table to find them crouched behind a deli, uh, crouched behind a pile of jelly desserts, plotting. Thanks, bros, if you're here, bro. Come, join our hole. <laughs> oh god, maybe maybe you're curious about a, a huge pile of jelly jam, je 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 gelatinous, gelatinous, oh, ge yeah. gelatinous de de dessert cups. Well, wonder no more. We're we're going for the jelly fries. Yeah, we're gonna win it. 
If we collect a full cover of 100 jelly desserts, we'll be the lucky winners all. One free jelly dessert. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to scream. But right now we're stuck. We only got 99. That means we need... We need... Okay, one more, Scott. We need one more. We need one more! You give them your jelly dessert, but you already sorted a bird person you hate. Guess you've <laughs> gotta make a choice. Oh, not the bird person. <laughs> Oh, the top one. Easily. Steal yes. the final jelly dessert from the jelly dessert factory. Or make like a puppy dog in bed. All things are sweetie when achieved through pain. Oh no. Top okay, one. so the top one. Yeah. Oh, the body likes that. But is this? Oh. But, but isn't stealing wrong? No, Scott, it, that's a myth. Like hangovers in the afterlife. <laughs> but if the afterlife isn't real, why are you a ghost? There's no time for met metaphysics, Scott. We you've got a he heist to plan. No, Coach is stealing a small. Oh god! Unless you're stealing a ball, or a base, or a victory from the jaws of defeat. Actually, it seems like sport is mostly about stealing. Well, that said, it's time for stealing. One fake bus, one real woolly mammoth, and a brutal running gun battle finally secure one. Illicit jelly cup. Oh wait, hold up guys, I think Tristan lost connection. Oh no, he's, he's back. Oh, he's back? back. Oh, <laughs> well, never mind. you turn in, along with the 99 other jelly cups, for one free jelly cup. Oh my god. Scott is too upset by all the violence, so you split your free jelly cup with Polly. Worth it! <laughs> okay, Ian, where do you want to go? Uh, I'll go in the middle table, I guess. Middle table? Oh, who wants to- oh. I forgot who's memory again. Oh, Miranda. Oh, okay. no, 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 no. Oh, my God, you, you missed my mom. Oh, my God, I don't know. Okay. But it seems like Miranda is pretty upset, too. Wait, who wants to check it out? <laughs> Do I want to be Miranda? <laughs> Am I going to have to voice two girls? Uh, I, I, I can be Miranda if you want. You're voicing two girls as well. That'll be fine. Okay. Wait, no. I, I think I think, I think it's you eat a sandwich, Ian. Because we need, uh, we need diversity you in your in your ranges. Oh true, is is my voice actor training. Okay. Yeah, I'll be Miranda. Okay. Oh, that'd be so weird. <laughs> Liam, why are you typing on your phone so angrily? Did your phone offend you in some way? Why are you mad at it? You seem to be an 8.5 on the frowny Liam scale. <laughs> That's a good voice. That's a good voice. What does that voice remind me of? No idea. The what? The frowny Liam scale. Normally, I can tell how people are feeling from their faces, but you seem to be frowning most of the time, so I created a chart <laughs> to measure your frowniness. Miranda pulls out a notepad and displays a series of doodles for Liam's frowniness. They are not super accurate, but they are super adorable. I'm not angry at my phone. My so-called frowniness is caused by a highness error. I specifically asked that my creator's cream brulee be extra crispy, that is topped with my Mathica Instagram filter. Instead, they burnt it to a crisp, rendering it unphotographable. Monsters deserve to know what they're getting into if they choose to eat at the cafeteria, so they can choose to take their business to a different establishment. So I'm writing a Liam, you can't do that. If they shut the cafeteria down, the school kitchen staff will lose their jobs. <laughs> Did you know that peasants have to do labor to make living wages? They don't <laughs> simply have an unlimited stores of coal. I was shocked when I first found I'm sorry. out. Sorry. Of course you were. If the kitten staff wanted to earn their wages, they should have been better at their jobs. I simply am the uh, I'm simply the merchant of truth. Man, speaking only a list is difficult. No, <laughs> you're the merchant of poop. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, oh. Your royal sophistication signs three. Look, ask my. Her taste may tend toward the mainstream, but surely she can see she can see, see the soft park cafeteria must be exposed. Ooh. Don't be ridiculous. Nye is surely more compassionate than that and would gladly help me save the cafeteria again. Ah, 
again. Gosh, it's hard to keep track of your misadventures at this shit show of a school. <laughs> Still, you'll help if you can. Miranda can't undermine Liam's admittedly <laughs> talented criticism alone. This will take an army of homeless we pay to write positive reviews of the cafeteria until we eclipse Liam. Liam, one lone voice, simply cannot shut down this cafeteria, at least not the voice of a high, scholar, a high schooler. Let's get a renowned food critic to write a Pulitzer worthy exposed to be published in the most widely read periodicals. Um... Uh, I'll, I'll side with Miranda on this. The poor, top one? Yeah. The poor chefs can't lose their jobs for, uh, from a nerd. It took her job. Okay, top <laughs> one. <laughs> oh, she likes it. Why, of course. This plan involves two of my most favorite strategies. Gathering an <laughs> army and outsourcing work to the disenfranchised. <laughs> If it involves torture and suppression of dissidents, it would hit all my favorites. But there might be still time for that later. <laughs> Just so unimpressed. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't even have a response to this. You go to the vast homeless population who wander the woods near this school, don't ask, and convince them the cafeteria is a trendy new restaurant that sells food for the most valuable, uh, valuable currency of all. Positive Yelp reviews. Turns out people are pretty gullible when they're starving, so they flock to the cafeteria and enjoy and start writing spectacular reviews on their phones. <laughs> they're starving and they have phones? <laughs> <laughs> now, homeless people have phones of their own. It seems they kept all the unwanted blackberries. Remember blackberries? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Miranda Vanderbilt says, uh, Principal Giant Spider bursting into the cafeteria with an eight-legged panache. STOP BRINGING DROVES OF HOMELESS PEOPLE INTO OUR CAFETERIA! But Principal Giant Spider, it was absolutely vital to the vitality of this school. You said that the last five times. You can't solve all your problems by manipulating homeless people. <laughs> Notorious PGS storms out, but Miranda looks perfectly chipper. Oh, he may pretend to be upset, but I think that's the subtext was pretty clear. Thank you, Miranda and I, for saving the entire school like the beautiful heroes you are. <laughs> That's 100% a lie, but Miranda called you beautiful. Ow, it's a win. <laughs> oh, my turn. Uh, I actually don't know, it's like... Hmm. What's the guy on the top? It's like a NPC. Right. Or... He's someone else. Yeah, okay. someone else. Um... I, I guess I might as well go here. Don't you dare. <laughs> Don't you, you find Damien no! and the hunch over a skill model of Spooky National Bank made of bill cartons, lunch trays, and ketchup packets. Alright, we'll go in through the side entrance, disable the alarm with an EMP, and blow the safe. Why don't we just blow up the side entrance, blow up the alarms, and blow up the safe? <laughs> Because we only have so much C4, Damien. That sounds like a personal problem. What's this thing? Isn't this yours, Wes? Oh, I right, think. sorry. Damien, Damien, <laughs> Damien points at a kosher? Kosher? Kosher. What's a kosher? Kosher dill pickle. <laughs> Kosher Dale Poker in front of him, the vault labeled police or ogre. Oh my god, I almost said orgy, I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> That's the police ogre. He's got eyes all the way around his head, never sleeps, doesn't take bribes, and is invincible in combat. Can we blow him up? <laughs> <laughs> no, we can't blow him up. We need to find a way around him. Well, I'm out of ideas. Yo, Flumper, we'll cut you in on the heist if you can solve this ogre problem for us. Look at your heist master before Vera or Damon can react to you. Rob the bank and so split the money with Vera. Into 
<laughs> Both are solid choices. I'm gonna eat the pickle. Oh, I <laughs> didn't realize that, of course. Quick as a flash, it's not the, it's not just, you snatch the pickle off the table and buy it. Yes! Success! Suck it, Arthur! <laughs> that doesn't actually solve the... Uh, uh... Look, Vera! Now the path to the vault is clear. We can blow it open and walk out with the cash. But the ogre is still there! <laughs> the map doesn't lie, Vera. I see the ogre. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. Why don't you two just rob the bank then? I'll focus on my illegal drug trade. You're happy to show a magic eyes of Damien together and you eat you eat you eat the actual <laughs> ogre just like you ate the pickle. And everyone knows police ogres are their ultimate at Afro Oh my god. Oh god. I never seen that word before. What is that? Aphrodisiac. <laughs> Aphrodisiac. Like yeah. Viagra. Oh. Yeah, it's something that makes people horny. Oh. oh great. So, How much money do I have? I have seven months. Yes, so which one do you want? Do I want a cat person? Yes, let's go let's go to the let's go to the let's go to the cat person. Cat person? Okay. Who wants the worst cat person? <laughs> Good old cry. What's it going to be today? Okay, so <laughs> motivation poster oh. crap. <laughs> I think your art requires, your years, art of requires hard. years of hard work, education from great mentors, and tons of raw talent. But damn, that sounds exhausting. So let's settle for a motiv motivational poster for now, okay? Oh. Dragon Heat, a classic. It's so cheesy and stupid that you can't stop reading it. I never thought I would say this, but now I'm super into <laughs> Dragon Abs. Ooh, Dragon Ooh. Abs. <laughs> Why? The hot thing is being yourself, honey. But her Latin accent is a close second, to be honest. Literally, just a white blanket with two eye holes in it. You'd have to be an idiot to mistake this for a ghost costume. But most of our classmates are idiots. It has flames and a skull and even a knife. With this, you can murder your enemies, go to prison, make everyone your bitch, and then murder them too. And go to <laughs> some kind of super prison? Screen cred. A street cred plus 9,000. It's over 9,000. You sure about this? You can always <laughs> use Wikipedia to get a general idea and still be able to act as if you've read it. Oh god. A Pragan? A, a, a PR agent. The Pragan. High school, <laughs> high school social life is so hard nowadays that hiring a PR agent is totally a thing. Six dollars as well. A corpse. Yeah, I'm selling a corpse. It's like some kind of fashion accessory. It's not as if I'm trying to dispose of it. Remember when these used to be cool? Now they aren't. But they're so ridiculous that they're still fun in their own twisted way. How much was the dragon novel? The dragon yeah, novel? Six five, bucks. Right? Oh. oh, it's six bucks? Oh god, I'll have no- I'll be- a, I'll be a poor boy. Yes, let's buy the dragon novel. Okay. <laughs> no, and you... remember the first wheel of sh shop club, no refunds. There we go. Let's trade places. Okay, trade everybody chooses something places. cool. My soul just anything cool? I don't know. Choose something cool. Okay, I mean, something... we're, 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 we're just, we're okay. just gonna go. Um, like after I click, uh, <laughs> everyone. Why don't you just go in order? Wait, we don't even get to say our, our something cool thing? Yeah, why don't we say it first and then you can click, like, one at yeah. a time. Oh, okay. Okay, ready? Ice cream. Oh, ninja throwing stars. Black hole. Mewtwo. <laughs> okay, so ice cream, ninja throwing stars, black hole, and Mewtwo. Okay, player orders decided based on how cool it would be 100 years from now. Humankind <laughs> built a 200 feet statue commemorating the selected thing, Mewtwo. I want, I want that Mewtwo statue. Yeah, dude, Mewtwo yeah, statue. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no debate. <laughs> Wait, okay. Hey. Ice cream, Ninja Falling Star, and Black Hole. I don't know how you're going to make it. It's a... pretty easy. I think the order here. Yeah. Ice cream. Ice cream, okay. <laughs> I, was gonna, I was gonna vote Black Hole. Really? It's it's just its sphere. Though. It's, just, well, it's, I mean... it's, it's a statue in a circle. 
a ball. Right? Yeah, exactly. A sphere, technically. I mean, I mean right. a giant flowing ninja star. Imagine just looking at <laughs> yeah. it and admiring it. And and if, and if you were to throw it at someone, you know. Oh my god. <laughs> No, the final destination of the Weave pilgrimage. Let's go. <laughs> oh my gosh. No, we, we should like build a Jaeger and <laughs> throw the Ninja Star statue. Yeah, dude, it's a last, it's a weapon. Yeah. yeah. It's, Not only is it a statue, it's also a weapon. That's functional. Exactly. Yeah, okay, we can sell for the Ninja Star. <laughs> okay.